Hola amigos, this is level 12 and today we are going to be doing the video that I have been wanting to do for a very long time. The Neotalia rant. So, I don't think it's it's a secret that I despise the Neotalia verse or whatever it is. But 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 today we're finally going to dive into why I dislike it. Now, this video is going to be a rant so it might be long and there might not be too much slide changes and might it's it's podcast format you know how this works anyways so what is the neotalia you may be asking oh oh you poor little virgin baby you don't know what neotalia is neotalia is hema's attempt to bring in more chicks into the series like like that's it that's all it is and who neotalia is when estonia had a dream one time now they've expanded a little bit from this but it, it first happened when estonia had a dream and god granted him a wish to have hot babes. And so all God did was change the gender of the allied and Axis powers and made it dating sim kind of like. That's all Neotalia is, and it's just to bring in more girls into the series, and it's cheap and lazy. So why don't I like the Neotalia? As I've said multiple times earlier, uh, it's a cheap and easy way to bring in more chicks into the series. Because Italia has a lot of dudes. There's a lot of male fan service. A lot of, a lot of girls go to that show and be like, ah yes, hot, hot guys. It, but, but Hema was like, oh, uh, I know have women in this show. Instead of making uh, more countries into women that have been like requested, like the Philippines and others that are like Eastern Asian that I can't remember off the top of my head but most importantly the Philippines and Portugal is another one that could have been a chick but he was like dude with long hair mm. anyways so Neo Talia was Hema's way of getting more chicks into the series without actually doing work granted he didn't just like change the genders and give them the same clothes he did do completely new character designs which I will give him credit for that but more or less they feel like the same character just a different gender like when they pop up on the screen all except for like uh, America and Italy which we'll get into in a second all seem like just they're the same character that had existed previously and it's just annoying and yes they've expanded a little bit from Estonians like dream sequence but not a lot and yet somehow in that little bit of time they blew up in the sh in the fandom and listen I I I um I enjoy my yaoi ships my gay ships. I enjoy that stuff. So when I look up fan fictions of the gayness, I don't want to be bombarded with the straight ships because girls have girls have this issue of either being Amelia or Alice, which is America and the UK, and just shipping it with whoever they want. I've seen that happen. Trust me, it happens, and it's it's annoying. And and the Neo Talia is also more expanded in the two P universe than the, than the actual characters in the two P universe, and that also makes me upset because I want canon two P characters. I love having head cannons, but I want canon stuff. Oh my gosh. <laughs> like, I've gotten better about Neotalia. I used to couldn't look at any Neotalia, but now I'm appreciating, like, the art of it. Like, this is really pretty art. And the official art is really pretty. And Hema did put a lot of work into their characters and designs and making sure, like, it wasn't, like, their personalities are still the same, but he made, he did a good job of making sure, like, it's not the exact same character, just in different clothes. That's what Femtalia would be, just changing that. So Hema did do a good job there, but I still feel like it's a cheap way to bring in more chicks into the series and you could have just d done what the people wanted and made Portugal and Philippines a girl and it would have it all worked out for you, Hema. I'm very upset. Can you tell? <laughs> oh my gosh, Neotalia is trash. Now if you like Neotalia, because I know a lot of fans do, I'm not going to judge you. Will I d go into deep conversations with you about my favorite Neotalia girl? Probably not. Oh, also, there's Neotalia boys where, like, Ukraine and Belarus and Liechtenstein are, like, boys, but, like, that's- that's not as important as the chicks! Oh my gosh. It's- I am- I'm very upset right now. Can you tell? I think you can tell. Um, so, the rant part is over. I think I got my point across on why I hate the Neotalia. But let's talk about three Neotalia people that I do like. So, as I said before, Hema made more or less all the Neotalia characters cookie cutter from their originals, except for like two of them and then one of them I just like because. So as I said, Italy, 
uh, his female counterpart, we're just gonna call her, um, what was her name? Feliciana. We're gonna call her Feliciana. I don't think that's her real human female name, but we're just gonna call her that because I'm too lazy to look it up. So Feliciana is bolder, more extroverted, and a lot, like, less scaredy than Italy. Like, she is the main one you talk to, because, you know, again, it's, it's, a uh, Hitali, it's Italy. So she is very out there, very open, and very, like, bold toward Estonia in the little short that existed. And it's very, like, cool to see, like, what Italy could have been. And, you know, it's nice to see that she isn't exactly cookie cutter, because what's the fun of having a scaredy cat girl? Like, we already have that in, like, Ukraine. We don't need another one. Oh, my lord. And... I don't know, I just like, <laughs> I just like Feliciana more so than I like Italy himself because Feliciana is not a crybaby. And like, Italy, like, he's the face of the show, but he's a crybaby and that gets annoying at times. Then we have America's female, and her name is Amelia, so I'm just gonna call her Amelia. So Amelia is, um, first of all, she dressed very scantily, and second of all, she carries around a baseball bat. Like, America has a gun, and because everyone in the show is in military uniforms, the gun isn't like, you know, oh my god, a gun, because I feel like a lot of characters carry around a gun. Like, Germany even carries around a gun. I say even, he should carry around a gun. But Amelia, uh, this chick carries around a baseball bat, and her 2P carries around a baseball bat with, uh, nails in it, like Lucille from The Walking Dead. Um... Do you know how weird that is? I'm more afraid of someone threatening me with baseball bat rather than a gun because a baseball bat won't kill me instantly and guns are quick and baseball bats are more personal than guns and it's just kind of threatening and it's a synth that you can feel that Amelia is more uh, off her marbles than uh, America is. You can sense that Amelia isn't fully there as America is and Amelia is more crazy. She's more rambunctious. She's more impulsive and that's what you get with Amelia. She's she's terrifying and um oh boy I feel like Hema did a good job in getting from that little short uh getting that point across that Amelia is different from America in the way that she's a lot crazier and a lot more rash and a lot more hey look out for this chick and then um the final Neo that I like is Neo Latvia. Oh my Christ I love her. I can do nothing but look at fan art of Neo Latvia and be happy. Oh my god, she is beautiful. I love her. See, that's what I think the Neos were originally for, was to make your male character look like a cute girl so us weird bisexuals can, like, have have something to look at and be happy and need your gender. And oh my god, she is my daughter. I love her. Oh. Listen, y'all, I, I love Neo Latvia. Like, I hate the rest of Neo Talia, but Neo Latvia? That girl, cute. I love her. She is my daughter. I, I, I've claimed her. No one else can. That's how this works. Oh my god, I love Neo Latvia. I feel like this rant went from full anger to full, like, gushing. Neo Latvia is where it's at, y'all. <sighs> She's the one in the center. She's my favorite. That picture was on my phone and was my screensaver for a few months. I, she's great. I love her. I also love Neo Latvia X Lichtenstein, like regular Lichtenstein, a cute lesbian ship. I, I love it. I, y'all, this was the great way to end this video for me to gush about Neo Latvia. Oh my lord, <laughs> let me stop. Okay, so that was the Neo Talia rant. Um, it wasn't as big as I thought it would be. I thought I'd, I don't know what I thought I'd feel, but I thought it would be a lot worse, TBH, but it wasn't. It was fine. I survived. Anyways, tell me what y'all think about the Neo Talia in the comments. I've never seen anyone hate the Neo Talia as much as I hate it, but I'd love to know what y'all think, and if y'all like it, tell me why, and if y'all don't, tell me why. I, I'd love to know, because I don't get around enough in this fandom, y'all. I'm, I'm a bad fandom person. I hate talking to people. Anyways, um, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe for more anime and otaku-related content. Ciao, chicos.